just opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. To throw quickly, here's Mariota. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. It was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw Mariota. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mariota. And complete to Drake London. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. First and 10, it's Patterson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Mariota now. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 19. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A trade set Brian Edwards from a very crowded Raiders depth chart to a much more open one in Atlanta. It's a great opportunity for the third-year man who was an excellent deep threat in limited opportunities with Las Vegas. He averaged 17 yards per catch over 45 career receptions in his first two seasons. He could more than double that cool catch total in his first year with the Falcons. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Ball at the 14 for second and five. To throw is Mariota. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. We'll talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They'd been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. The sack backs him up. So now Mariota in Atlanta dealing with a third and long. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Touchdown, Falcons! Brian Edwards, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. 
If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at the 20. From nearby Norcross, Georgia, it's Alvin Kamara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard they run it again with Kamara and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line four yards the pickup first down I know what you're thinking out there I know a lot of you are thinking take a shot downfield it's a great spot for it I'd say maybe later in the game definitely in the second half but right now I think they were just trying to get some momentum built get a first down pick it up and keep moving now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him, picks up three on that carry. On second down, Kamara. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Not the result they were looking for there on third down. They end up taking a loss on the play. The only person happy now, the punter, gets to go out there and show mom that he gets to play in the game. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Avery Williams deep for Atlanta. Fielded just inside the 20. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. Now Mariota. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Marcus Davenport, a former first round pick in 2018, is really starting to come on for the New Orleans Saints. In 2021, in only 11 games, nine sacks after posting 12 combined in his first three NFL seasons. On second down, a run with Patterson. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Play fake. Mariota sliding out of the pocket. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third and one, here's Mariota. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Edwards. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mariota. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. On first and 10, here's Mariota. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Mariota. And caught by London. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Already, he's top 50 receiving yards in this first quarter. And he's got a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Cameron Jordan wreaking havoc with a sack. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Throw left side complete. That's Edwards. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Cordero Patterson from six yards away. And the Falcons go up by two touchdowns. 
Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Now in the sixth season, Kamara just continues to be one of the best dual-purpose backs in football. He's never missed a Pro Bowl, and he has the most total yards in the NFL since entering the league in 2017. He actually played in his fewest games in a season last year and still had over 1,300 yards. Play action now, Winston. They'll get this out to Kamara, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Now, that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Winston to give. It's Kamara. Bulldozes past him. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Jameis to throw it. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards the pick up and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. Down to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 41, Winston. This is complete to Michael Thomas. 
And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 25-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A first down throw for Winston. Eluding the pressure right, and this is going to be incomplete. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Winston. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Following the interception here, Mariota. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. They go play action. Mariota. He's got the tight end Furtzer right side complete. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Three yards remain for second down. Here's the option play now to the left. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. The offense on third down, no problems to this point. A perfect five for five. They're up against a third and one situation. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets them to about the 44. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. First down, Mariota. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Edwards. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Throw caught here by Bird. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Back to the ground now, Patterson. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Now Mariota. Got his man. It's London. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From the red zone now, Mariota escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. 
The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down. Mariota. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it. And oftentimes, knock it away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing Mariota. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. <laughs> on fourth down, Mariota is off. And on comes Atlanta's young way, Koo. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Two knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. just hit the field goal now he kicks off from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone oh a good return up past the 30 past midfield and he's free going down the left side it's a foot race and he will score touchdown saints that was a special return and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Here's Batson now, bringing it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Well, the Falcons back out, getting set for this next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw on second and ten, Mariota. That's into the hands of Edwards. Five yards, now it's third and five. <laughs> 
Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing is Mariota. And incomplete on the deep ball. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. Returnable here from the 38. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the battle even faster. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Blake Gillikin now. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. Mariota now. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Final play of the half here, Mariota. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They start the second half with Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again, it's Kamara. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Kamara up the middle. 
And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 57 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Coming left is Kamara. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Try to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Here's Kamara off the draw. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. They certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he's out meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Winston to the sideline here on fourth down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good, and they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. 
Here's Batson now, bringing it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. First and 10 now for the Falcons and Mariota at their own 17-yard line. To throw Mariota. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Edwards. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Mariota on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. On third down, Mariota. This pass is caught by London. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They'll give it to Patterson. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight. Touchdown! Marcus Mariota with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Falcons are in for six. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation.
Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 48 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. A give. This is Kamara. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Kamara gets it again on second down. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return to more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Winston. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal good yardage on the completion there and when they look at the scoreboard they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good my guess they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible now they go screen it's complete and he is going to lose yardage here it'll go as a loss on the play not what you need down here it's going to be second and goal but looked like the defense they were ready for that one really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball he could throw every move in the book at him they were there and they tackled him for a loss back to the ground it's Camara, and he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Now Winston. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them.
Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Mariota. This one left side caught by Patterson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away a first down throw for Mariota over the middle complete it's Bird and they're going to get this down to about the 37 Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. It's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the gun, Mariota. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, Mariota is off, and on comes Atlanta's young way, Koo. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Who just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. This taken in at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. But well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Winston. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. They'll try to throw now. Winston. Thomas has got it. Complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jameis to throw it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. To throw is Winston. This will be caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 11 more on that one and another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Winston. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. In for the sack, Deion Jones. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Winston. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, 
and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Lutz with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So a seven-point game. They'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. First and ten, it's Patterson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Third down, here's Patterson. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. Winston and the Saints now. Down 27-20. A little over a minute to go. And the missed field goal gives them new life as they come up in a one-score game on first and ten. Winston. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. He's back to throw. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Winston to throw. Being chased out left. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. One last shot now for Winston. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. 
I mean, what a finish to this one. I mean, this offense, they had it down there inside the red zone, but ultimately couldn't execute that final snap to find the end zone. Yeah, and they're going to walk away from this one, and you know it's going to go through their heads the entire time until they get to play again. If we could only have that final snap to do over one more time, maybe with a different play call.